How's it going boys? Today we are playing a sacrifice slash discard deck with the golden goddess Tergret. By the way, if you badmouth my wife, I will definitely destroy you. So yeah, also, by the way, all rights to Tergret are officially claimed by me forever. So, four dead spades, four hateful eidolons, two Malakir's rebirths, four Mire grasps, three inscriptions of ruin, four soul shatter, three Luruses of the dreams, Four Liliana's Vakers of Them Deads, Four Rankles Agreest Creatures Alive, Four Terigrets, Most Beautiful Creatures Alive, Four Blood on the Snow, and a bunch of lands. 23 lands to be specific, or 24, who knows. Kidri Castle, Lockwains, and three Angadem's Awakening, just for extra uh, kicks and giggles. So, obviously, a pure discard deck that does not work. Also, Tergrit, with all her beautifulness, is still 5 costing, which is kinda hard to pull off. So, you know, lot and form waifu, best waifu anyway. Okay, boys, so without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and see what happens now, shall we? Also, we have a new Patreon to thank. Davy Aspund. Thank you, thank you very much for becoming a Patreon. I appreciate the support, boys, from everyone, and also the people who press the subscribe button. You are all amazing. A hateful idol on and a Myers grasp. Is this my birthday in a Lurus? Are you not a creature deck by any chance? Because this seems just too good to be true, not gonna lie. No, well, that could not... Well, that does not necessarily mean it's not a creature deck. White can also be, I don't know, control white. Oh, it's a pain, I know. Ooh, no, nah, that's definitely a creature deck. Ooh, yep, that's that's 100% a deck filled with creatures. Okay, please get a, a land, Meyer Grasp Chun. Oh, Meyer Grasp Chun actually delivered. Okay, that's useful. So, as always, a pure discard deck does not work, it's not efficient, and a pure sacrifice deck is as inefficient as they come. Really now? I come, I just, just, just idle on me away to a, a land better, I guess. Okay, well, we have Lurus plays optionable here. I'm kind of like putting him down as bait for the Banishing Light. Oh, by the way, there is a 3 cost instant that also deals with enchantments, which is something, hey, you may want to consider some, uh, some, uh, sometime in your life. Because that honestly is kind of amazing for this deck, not gonna lie. Okay, let's start pumping and dumping, boys. Let us start by dumping this blood on the snow. What can we get? I don't know. When do we get, uh, want it? Probably now. What does he get? Oh, he's an elf? D wait. Are you an elf deck? Seems kind of surreal. Not Don't tell me it's a third banishing light. Do not tell me it's a third banishing light. Or anything that actually deal. Are you kidding me? Dude, that is like a, the most good outcome you could ever uh, hope to see. But anyway, we get a card from that, and we draw a card from that, and we get a 4-4. As sad as it is, boys, it is what it is. Also, we can play Rankle. We can discard everything, and then we have Castle Lockwain for advantage generation. A Heliode? Oh! Enemy con. That's that's the play of the century. Would have never imagined that. Anyway, since he has wait. I actually probably keep something in check here, right? Ford can't actually get rid of that guy though. Hmm. Well, this is what discard decks are all about, boys, if we're being completely honest. Do I want to attack with the Eidolon? No, I just want to deal some deeps. Okay, so he has two cards, I have one card, I will have two cards, he will have one card, I don't know what will happen. Okay, does he play something that empowers the Heliod? No, he does not! I am extremely okay with that suddenly. Okay, do I want to cast this? Probably not, Rankle's just... well, Rankle's a prankle. So there you have it, boys, you, he you heard it here first. Okay, so... Point being, I will attack. I will declare the attack of the lifetime. Watch this amazing Chad play. Attack with everything. 
Then I'm gonna press uh, draw card, discard card. Yes, it's it's complicated, but hey, Liliana reasons. Wait, is he actually gonna block? Well, I guess he does block, right? That's why I'm not attacking with the Eidolon, because I'm afraid of Heliod retributions against against Waifu. Each player loses and draws a card sheet, each player discards a card. That's what I would like to do, but sadly, that's not the option, because first you discard the card, then you draw a card. I know, Rankle is definitely an amazing thing. Yeah, probably most of you thought I'm gonna screw that one up, but boys, but boys, remember... Competitive magic player right here. Mythic, whatever. Yes, competitive as they come, my lads. Okay, so he can't get anything with haste. Anything he doesn't play literally gets discarded, by the way. Don't know why you're allowing that to happen, enemy chan. Also, I guess this is better to get rid of than actually rankle. And I'm gonna do this because we have absolutely nothing to lose. Yep. Okay, a land is not bad. <clears throat> land empowers us for more castle lock veins and whatever. Again, gonna be like extremely coy and attack only with a couple of things. Honestly, the emblem currently, what does it get us? Well, it gets us a Skyclave apparition and it gets that thing back. So, not the first outcome, honestly. Not the definitely worst outcome. Uh, each player discards a card. No, thank you. We already pressed Liliana, by the way. So, yeah. Well, enemy Kun, looks like I'm gonna be playing your deck. And I'm gonna start playing your deck by, well, playing the Skyclad Apparition. On that Banishing Light. It's gonna be amazing, trust me. Oh, yes. Trust me. Trust me, enemy Kun. It's gonna be amazing. Trust. Trust is, trust is all that we need. Okay, anyway, here we go. Yeah, you thought you had gotten one of, a one on us, enemy Kun. Oh yeah, and yeah, that's right, surrender. Because I will get my Lurus back, and that just means I can get, draw cards with idle ones. So yeah. <laughs> no Tigret. <laughs> Super sad. <clears throat> it's true, no Tigret equals sadness in my heart, boys. I am a man of culture. I enjoy beautiful waifus. Oh yes, I am somewhat a connoisseur, and my hentai knowledge is extensive to say the least. My hentai collection is even more extensive and vast to say the least. Definitely a connoisseur of the modern day, what can I say? Okay, onward we go. Maybe this time Tigger at the clock. Also, the lot in itself is kind of a cool win condition. Because, you know, sacrificing and... It, it works. Okay, look at this. A bunch of Tigrets. What, what more does a man need in life? Oh, what more does a man need in life? Probably, like, two extra lands to actually do things. Ah, oh, well, let's bask in the glory of Tigret. Kiss, kiss. What a great time to be alive. Okay, put Cat on purple. And let's continue to bask in the glory. Ah, those beady little dead eyes enemy can stop looking at me. Well, we get to go first. I guess we drop this in case he doesn't do anything. Turn one for extra HP. And maybe a chance to draw a basic swamp, which is always an option. Woo! Okay, let's see. Redu? I don't like Redu. Okay, do it like this. Is he an aggro deck? Well, anyway, got the advantage. One extra HP. What up, boy? Okay, um... Still stuff happening. There's no way he flashes anything, right? That would be awkward. Thank you, enemy con. How about you drop something, you know... I don't know. Something that has three life no more. And uses all your... You're gonna kill my Eidolon. Yep! You little shit. Also, I have seen far too much of these bone crushers. Oh god. It's, it's like nightmare material at this point. Anyway, um, I think we're destined to lose because, well, if you look at this situation, enemy is dropping a fourth land, amazing skill, and I have dropped only two lands, amazing skill. I think enemy is just flat out more skilled than us. I honestly don't see an another solution to this, so I will concede. 
Ah, oh, magic. A game of pure blissful skill. Also, you know, completely not tricked. We have designed the hand smoothener. Its objective is to make more games that feel like games. Slide wizards throughout God, th through their goddamn teeth. Well, you know, what can I say, boys? It's a treat. This is why I say to everyone, don't play magic. Watch other people play magic. It's like you're, you're saving yourself brain cells. That's for one look at me. It's like there's, there's barely four left. And I'm saying four because I'm afraid to say less. Because that will make me feel even worse about myself. But yeah competitiveness with extra RNG no game has this much RNG in it like Jesus Christ we might as well play rock paper scissors on who fucking wins ah instantaneously get rid of that shit this is a white lotus deck okay white lotus deck ahoy the good part is well, he's gonna have a doggy, but I can always force the Lotus Sack with the Soul Shatter, because this does not target. This says I am gonna do things, but not targetable things. Also, now maybe we wanna do this? Oof. Choices, 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 boys. And we're gonna see it. If he does nothing, I'm gonna do it, because Liliana. If he drops a Lotus, I'm gonna be like happy noises, and, you know, be happy about things. Otherwise, not exactly. Oh, look at that! It's some Skyclave whatever fucking mall it's called. You know what? Fuck you. Yeah. How about that? Fuck you. In particular, actually. Okay, not currently happy with the amount of things, but honestly, we're kind of in control of this situation, boys. Obviously, ditching lands. And if we draw nothing that's playable, we can honestly just castle Lockwain. And gain a little bit more land. Currently, it's going good. Well, in an extremely slow meta, like, this card is a little bit more effective, honestly, than in a fast meta, obviously, I guess. But, yeah. <clears throat> Currently, this card at least isn't a pile of goddamn fucking garbage. Well, kinda still is. Kinda still is, but you get the point, boys. Okay, do this. Bam, shwa bam, and there we go. Should have maybe minus first. Yeah, definitely should have minus first. It's okay, boys. I take full responsibility about my actions. Pretty much never. So it's it's all. See, it's, it's good. It's good. This probably felt very good for enemy con because well, we we actually are more more or less a deck that counters him, unless he like drops. Well, he can actually the only the Eidolons do things. The dogs don't save. Well, the dogs don't ever. Well, I, yeah. No, the I, no the. You can technically, if something survives uh, the enchantments, you can technically I um, uh, life bound protection against black and it removes the enchantments. So, I, you you can do that, but it's like nani. Really now? That's that's like the thing that happens. And also we're getting pretty good openings because Eidolons and Dead Weight is like one of the stronger things. Why do I have a feeling though this is dead? Yup. Well, that was not too hard to figure out what's Wizard's plan right here, but it probably doesn't count that Malachi's Rebirth is also an instant above everything else in life. Oh yes, it's a very instant instant by the way. You could argue that it's very instantaneous, even. Anyway, where is my Tigrid game? Do not force me to impose violence upon table... Co what the fuck? Is that an Ugin? I think that's an Ugin. Wait, what the fuck is that? Wait, what? How does that even work? Are you... Actually fucking shitting me, you little fuck fucktard. Dude! Yeah, I knew this is too good to be true. Oh my god, look at what he chose. Yeah, Kiora see Dude! He didn't even have to mulligan for this shit. Motherfucker did not even have to mulligan for this shit. Insane. 
Oh yeah, that's 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 very cool enemy con. Very cool indeed. I love it. Absolutely the best. Best girl. Okay, well, sacrifice whichever one is, you know, he's probably gonna go for that. Suppose your opponent kind of- Oh god, that's like re wait, really? Because it- Wait, it must attack? Or this must attack? Why does everything attack? It makes no sense! Does this do something? Yeah, it does something! Shimata, boys! Okay, at least we're alive, technically. Well, technically I'm dead inside, but hey, small details. Am I right or am I right? Okay, there's no way he doesn't have it. Dude, he didn't even have to mulligan for Tybalt's dick right there. Oh god, didn't even have to mulligan for that fucking dick. Okay, so can cast this. Dead next turn, unless I top deck high heavens. Um, well, that's not gonna help me do anything with my life. What, 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 what a game! Competitive nature. God, if wizards didn't tell, if wizards did not spend hours, millions in their indie companies, I mean, branding companies and whatnot, I would never have guessed that this game is competitive. Like, mark my words. I would be like, oh, this is a joke game. This is funny because it's a joke. Nope. Nope. This is a competitive game. Run by a company that has literally no understanding what could be considered a healthy meta game. Also run by a company which will not ban certain cards because they made the executively autistic mega decision to, you know, essentially just keep those even. This is a creature deck. This is pre-recorded, by the way. Uh, the executive decision of making whole fucking sets of cards worthless, except like one or two cards that completely are overtuned and non-balanced at all. Oh yes! It, it's a great joy! It is definitely what we call a great joy. Okay, if he doesn't drop a creature, I'm just dead waiting my idol on. This is literally what I always do. Okay, anyway, I don't know what these colors represent, but I know one thing, all the Triome arts are fucking garbage, so deal with that. Okay. Wait, no, let's be smart, smart big brain chaps about this. And now we did wait our own thing. What? It's drawing two cards and otherwise this is useless. He's gonna kill it, isn't he? Oh no, he didn't. Well, draw, draw two cards. Honestly, a worthwhile play. See, especially when you get the Lotus Kun. Okay, next turn we draw a land, because again, scripted. Then we play the Lilian. Enemy Kun does not even have a land, because reasons. Okay, he does have land, my mistake. A Beanstalk, no one cares thing, wow! Okay, okay, ki kind of feeling a little bit left out on the lands here, game, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I'll do like, seriously. A deck like this has absolutely no chance of winning against us if we get a land. Because then we Liliana, he can't deal with the Liliana. And then we uh, Rankle, and we just discard cards like there's no tomorrow. The fact that we're missing land drops will make him win. There's a huge chance he just fucking wins because miss uh, we're missing land drops. That play, 100% ineffective. You know, 100%. Wait, I can actually drop everything on this shit. Oh, yeah. Create a billion treasure tokens. What a time to be alive. But hey, at least we got the land. Am I right or am I right? I think we're dead. Because this thing kind of... Well, it depends on what he does with the treasure tokens. But yeah, usually it's kind of a, like, hardcore counter. But... We are currently ahead, and we can play Tigrid, and we can start forcing discards, like, on extremely rapidu basu. Which is always good, which is always nice. Which is nice and fine. Depends on what he does. He could, like, literally win the game right now if he casts Genesis Ultimatum. Well, more like if he... Dude, nice fable. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh! Oh! 
Yeah, of fucking course it's an organ. Of course it's a motherfucking organ. Minus three it is. Get that fucking organ, you disgusting, skillless piece of autistic garbage. What a great- and this is one of those cards I was talking about. Ugin, literally win condition. One card, eight cost, win condition. Ain't that just fucking fantastic, boys? Ain't that literally the definition of fan motherfucking tastic? Can't win off of this point. Impossible. At best, at best plays Rankle. Again, we had actually like a very good chance of doing shit. Yeah, of course. Competitive game, boys. Just fuck, fuck, fuck any color. Just go Ugin. Again, like always, just, just go Ugin. It's, it's a card. It does things. V instant one card win condition on the, f uh, on the turn it's cast. I love it. And some idiots will gonna say, no, it's not true. Ugin is not an instant win condition. Yeah, that's because you're in fucking bronze, bitch. How about that? Oh, did that, that hurt? I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Oh, boys. Dude, if we did not get one-time land cucked, we literally could have started the discard train. And maybe he gets rid of Genesis Ultimatum because, you know, he doesn't know about... You know, he doesn't know. Also, this is, like, super questionable. But we kind of have something, so I guess this is... Oh, a Yorion deck. With 150 cards or something, we lose. There's no way to win a Yorion deck, especially if he's running 150 cards. It's the perfect curve. It, it is literally mathematically proven to be the perfect curve. Yup. Most likely... Oh, wait, he played that? That's not the perfect curve. Well, whatever. Uh, choose one. This card, two cards. Pretty good. Not gonna help us one bit. Kinda assuming we're not gonna... Well, we do have... Okay, the best choice is Rankle in the Tigrid, and then we, we just kind of hope. Let's see what he ditches. A Glass Coffin and Elspeth. Okay. Drop the land. Yes, good good boy. At least you know how to drop lands. I am proud. Boys, he is never gonna miss a land drop in his life, trust me. He has most likely that... Well, that's not the best, but hey, it's not the worst for us, at least. Okay, do this, see what happens. Honestly, we need to, uh, each player discards a card and each player draws a card. I need to, uh, I need to make it so we 100% get that land. Then we can start to use a rankle-ness-ness-ness-ness-ness. Also, he sacrifices this, because it's sacrifice, we get it. See what I mean? We kind of, like, are pretty much forced into acquiring that land. Oh, look at that, a Skyclad Apparition! Deals with everything we ever wanted in life. I love it. I love it. Well, at least this is a thing. Kinda useful. And this is kinda useful. I need to save one, but DUDE! GIVE ME MY TIGRET! Give it to me, and give it to me now, game! I demand a land for my waifu! Even if this guy's getting lands, he's most likely getting a, so much advantage now it's gonna physically hurt me. Come on! Come on! I will not play Lantern Waifu if I can play Waifu Waifu. And yeah, there we go, a second copy by the way of this. Why? Because it's useful. Easy, easy math, boys. And a Maze Mind Home, just, you know, so, you know, better, better. Oh, look at the- well, now we don't have to actually worry about- Dude, he's gonna drop his fifth land before us. You can goddamn bank on that. Literally, you can bank on that being the case. He will drop his fifth fucking land before us. 100%. No questions asked. Also, how much does the escape cost? Four. Okay. Oh, he just- Decides to take the HP drop, huh? I guess it doesn't matter. Watch. Fifth land. I told you. Told you, boys. Told you. Hmm. Wait. Oh, sacrifice after three. Wait a minute. That just gives me. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh my god, look at this. Hmm. 
150 cards, the guy is just getting multiple... Oh, finally, we actually got the Tigrid. Okay, play her like she was meant to be played. As a goddess! A golden goddess, in fact. Now just do this, he's most likely sacking a creature or losing life. Honestly, who cares? Anyway, Soul Shatter is pretty good now, because either he's dropping Yorion, or he's dropping and what, what's her face? Elsbeth, the no one cares ugly creature that no one wanted. God, you think after Elsbeth being this fucking ugly? Oh. Of course! I'm sorry, I forgot. He has white, so he is forced to get... Dude, this is what wizards have done, by the way. If you do not know... Uh, Heliod always on turn 3, Embercleave always on the first opportunity when you can actually cast it, and for these Yorion decks, there's always an Elspeth Conqueror's death on turn 5. It literally never changes. It's so fucking disgusting. Anyway, what do we even do here? Not much. Honestly, you can't even do anything. We didn't get creatures. Well, I guess he sacks at least something, right? Okay, do it like this, play it like that, and well, do this now. Maybe we get another Eidolon, maybe we get a uh, Tigrid. That's actually good, that's actually useful. Okay, problem is, guess who's fucking bouncing this shit over and over now? Exactly, your fucking boy Yorion the goddamn Sky Nomad without the fancy Nomad hat. Wait! Oh my god! Dude! Well, at least we're getting all them Tigrets. Noise. Okay, let me explain what's currently happening. Uh, Dumb and Dumber, considering he only uh, has one games ever in his life, because, well, um,. By the way, if he sacrifices any of this, I get to take it with Tigret. Maybe he doesn't sac- Ah, well, whatever. WHATEVER! This is fine. He wants to play most likely this, and honestly, that doesn't do a lot. Like, what does he get here? Nothing. Only the Skyclad Apparition, but who cares about the Skyclad Apparition, honestly? You know? Okay. Wait, what? Oh, because, oh, right, this sacrifices, which means we get it back. Bring it back! Bring it back! Yes, we get it back. Wait, does this bounce things take action? So, Sagas, what an amazing thing. Wait, does this bounce also enemy things? I hope it doesn't. Anyway, so he can now either get rid of the... Goddamn Lothan, he took my fucking Lothan, boys, he took my... He, he took a part of Tigret! Unacceptable! UNACCEPTABLE! Wait, what? Oh my, of course you have it! Of course you have it! But guess what, enemy shitlord? I still win. You know why? Because I'm literally just better than you. While you play decks that are literally designed by wizards to get dick sucked off because, you know, staples and sh- Wait, do I have anything? No, I don't even have anything. Okay, whatever. Destroy. Wait, actually, is this word destroying? Let us think! We get it back, but that does not do a lot. But we can always do it like this. Do it like this and that and this and that! Okay, the bad part is we actually don't get anything back. But the good part is, again... Diamond hands, boys. I'm I'm keeping this soul shattered until the until the day that I die. Because you know why? Because it's sack a clock and soul shat. Wait, yeah, he can't even do that. Okay, so he does Yorion, right? He most likely does. Wait, is he gonna do that? Is he gonna banishing light for some? It still gives me back a ticket, so no one exactly cares. What is enemy Kun gonna do? Well, he does the kind of obvious play, I guess. Okay, we got a 5-5 now, though. I kind of like that. Okay, so... 
here's the thing. Very impressive enemy con. Very muchos impresos. Yes, yes. Very, very. Actually, he kind of did that pretty well, I guess. Wait, what is? What did he just target with something? Oh, shimata! Look at that, boys. Dude, how is this all a thing? Anyway, considering one Tigrid is in the graveyard now. Well, she's literally back. <laughs> she is fucking literally back, boys. Anyway, destroy all creatures. Let none survive. Because I want my Tigrid back. Wait, what? One? Oh! Ra! Ra! Yeah! Oops. Right. Oh, that stupid maze mine stone. That stupid fucking Elsbeth. Dude, I don't want to deal with like a little bit of your stupid creatures. Dude, those creatures suck. Okay, another Liliana. That's actually not great. That is actually literally not great. Okay, sack, sack the fucking Elspeth. I need to get rid of the cards in my hand essentially at this point. And I will most likely use the minus three to get rid of the token until unless he does anything else. Dude, the glass caskets, that thing. Oh, wait, what? Of course you top the Kanugan. Exact man. Why not? Why? Why just not fucking give him a Nugan? I, 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 I right game. Oh, actually, that tends to work out. Dude, that is so. He stopped digging a second Nugan, isn't he? Oh my god, that stupid son of a bitch is legitimately top decking a second Ugin, isn't he? Man! Diamond hands, boys. How many Tigrets are in exile? Oh my god, three Tigrets in exile. How do I even. Oh, of course! Well, not. Don't give him an Ugin. Give him literally the best draw a motherfucker can get. Yeah, just, just, just fucking do that then. Dude, we lose. You never, it's so hard to win against a hundred, this Yorion bullshit. Because they, they're literally a protected class by wizards. That That's literally how it is. They get all the fucking land. Oh, look at this. How many, look at this. He has eight lands to cast Ugins perfectly. And wizards is not even giving him more lands. The Wizards is literally telling telling everyone, yeah, this is fine. This is fucking fine. Look at this. Eight lands, a hundred billion card fucking deck. Top decks, two glass caskets. Two omens, a maze mine stone. Oh, he top decked another land. I am so proud of you. I am so fucking proud of you. This is it. He fucking knows he can- This guy just literally knows. Everyone knows that you can play a hundred million card deck as long as you include Yorion in it. You're gonna have a good time because Wizards wants you to have a good time. Two Ugins out of millions and billions of cards. Oh, now he's drawing lands when it's absolutely too late. What a champion. What a game. Look at this. Two Ogins in a hundred billion cards. Two glass caskets in a hundred billion cards. So many fucking exactly the same type of cards. Elsbeth conquers death on turn five, as always. He even managed to get two charming princes. He has more duplic- Oh wait, that's three glass caskets? Three glass caskets, even better. Even better, boys. He has managed to get multiple duplicates of cards, then he has cards in total. Played this game. Amazing. Absolutely wizards tiers, tiered not rigged. 10 out of 10, boys. But anyway, uh, this deck is really fun. The only problem is, well, you just saw the problem. Uh, the fact that the game is not RNG and is dictated by wizards. Wanting things to work essentially. 
Because, hey, no one wants to make a product and then it's fucking garbage. So, you obviously rig things so it doesn't feel like garbage. Like Yorion, an 80 card deck. Making 150 wizards still is gonna give you all that you want. Anyway, this is pretty much the deck. <clears throat> it's pretty fun. <clears throat> and it's pretty good if you have diamond hands. Otherwise, questionable. But yeah, as long as you get the golden goddess out, it is amazing. So, this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out everything. Oh, actually, I should probably show you the other card I was talking about. Oh, where is it? This. Pharika's Liberation. Yeah. Choose one. Sack a creature or sack an enchantment. You can force your enemy to sack an enchantment, which is, in a lot of cases, really good. Like, for example, in that game. And considering enchantments are very prevalent, you may actually choose to use that. Because there's a lot of sharkna Sharknado decks, a lot of things. Honestly, you can easily swap it for Inscription of Ruin. Inscription of Ruin is neat if you cast it on turn 3. But, you know, it's kind of... We have enough discard with Lilian and whatever. So you technically don't need extra. You need the sacrifices a little bit more. But yeah. So this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.